Some of you may have gotten an aggravated phone call from me um, Wednesday of this week. I know there was at least two council members in the merit of the aggravated phone call. Um, I was in here two weeks ago um, and addressed the council at that point in time about codes that weren't being enforced. It seems to me that the codes still aren't getting enforced and that they're not going to get enforced. What I was told by uh, Leanne, the city manager's secretary, was that all codes are being met and that there is no further discussion of any kind going to take place. Now, the meeting that was scheduled was scheduled between me and the mayor and several city council members. It was supposed to start at my house and move over to King Concrete with the addition of a uh, representative of King Concrete being added to this by Ms. Reed over here. That was my understanding when I left the council meeting. When I got the phone call from Ms. Leanne, I was told that the meeting was going to be on December 12th at 10.30 a.m. at my house. By 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I was getting quite frustrated that this had not taken place and that I had not been notified of any change of plans. As of tonight, everything that I had mentioned in the aforementioned meeting two weeks ago is still in, not in compliance with the code. What I did was being that you wasted so much of my time on Wednesday, I'm going to read to you all of the laws and the codes that Commerce City is in violation of failing to enforce. Okay. You have a Three minutes? A minute and 21 seconds. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what, just by interrupting me, you extended that by another 10 seconds. Um, as far as that goes, um, the reality is against your city charter that says you can't amend that, I have the time to talk. This is not on a subject that is not, it's not a, a, a subject that was on the agenda. The city charter says I have the time to state my case. And if you didn't, if you decide, the council took upon itself to decide to fail to be professional and come to my site to see the problems that I was having, then I'm going to be here for a very long time this evening explaining the law to you. First up, we have section 21-2, purpose for city code ordinances. This charter is this chapter is designed to encourage the most appropriate use of land throughout the city and to ensure a logical growth of the various physical elements of the city to lessen congestion in the streets, to secure safety from fire, panic, and other dangers, to provide adequate light and air to improve housing standards, to conserve property values, to prevent overcrowding of land, and to avoid undue concentration of population, to facilitate the act. The adequate prevention. See, Mr. Jones, that's your three minutes. Sewage, schools, I'm going to need to ask you to stop. Thank you very much. And just, I know that two council members. What? Yeah, but they're not listening. There were two council members that, that were set up to go on this tour. That we, in fact, what I even wrote down on my blog was to meet at King Concrete, and they even gave me the address, and that's where I was. I did take the tour. I did send my information to the city manager, who is in, in process of, of answering those comments, and they, they have said they would be back in touch with you, um, and so that's where it stands right at this moment. The other issues on the agenda were as the parking and the cul-de-sac in front of my house and the drainage issues. Those were also issues of, with your staff that I've had problems getting dealt with. The cul-de-sac is too small. The fire trucks can't get around it. It's a part, there's uh, no parking signs for, no parking signs, but it doesn't say no parking fire lane. The drainage that the city has so graciously okay. fixed for me has now been plugged by the railroad again because of construction that's going on on the railroad side of the property. So again, the drainage is an issue. Okay, and again, I, and I, I would ask any of the council, as far as this cul-de-sac, I have not heard this part at all. This was a dry so in no the meeting information two weeks that. ago. That was not. Yes, it was. It was addressed. Then I apologize because I do not recall that uh, at all. 
That was, was the, never on any of my list of comments. That was on the original no. meeting one that I had with you two weeks ago. That was part of the reason why you wanted to come to my house and look at that site, from my point of view. And I don't know why and how you guys ended up at King Concrete. It was beyond me. But yeah. I was the one trying to get the council out there so that they could see staff was not being completely truthful with me. And, and we did, two of us did go out and uh, and look at the site, Ms. Peter. The address I was giving was, and I remember because I was lost, I believe it was 7110 Ivy Street. Correct. And that I was, is, that's but the I was not informed that I was to meet at your house. That was the address of King Concrete. My, my house is the, the house directly behind that back door. Right. And we saw your house, and I think one of the issues that had not been resolved yes, what, uh, yet was the drainage problem. And exactly. they were looking into that, and it, it did look like it could be a problem, which, you know, they're, sure they're, it is. they're storing heavy. But we purposely did not show up at your not show up at your house because we didn't want to. I was not notified to do that. Well, when I had discussed this, I, Mr. McElhone was the only one that had called me back when I left the, the messages for everybody on Wednesday. No, and you I didn't just, call me, though. <laughs> I did leave a message for you. No. I did. I left it on your home voicemail, or a voicemail that's on your, your business card. No, I, I have my cell phone all the time. That being the case, uh, Mr. Flannery, I know that some response is being issued. Is that correct? That's correct. And that there is some date in the future where that work will be taken care of. Uh, Mr. Mayor, members of council, uh, staff <clears throat> did, did go out there with council, visited the site. Uh, we will be bringing this back for the entire council in January so that you can all get the same report that we, we put together. And the cult is back to be looked at because that could be a concern too. It would be helpful if we had a comprehensive list of all the issues because they don't seem to be consistently the same. They've been consistently the same since I started with this. If you want a comprehensive list, um, I can give you a comprehensive list right here. Uh, first off, there's the fences over at King Concrete that are installed incorrectly. They're allowing okay. access. Into what, what I'm going to request is we're not going to be able to get this accomplished tonight. Well, I ask Mr. Flannery to get a full list of concerns that you have. If you would give that list to him sometime this week, then I would assume, and, and I'd have to ask to make sure it's okay, that when you respond back to Mr. Jones in January, that you will include everything that he gives you on his list. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, Mr. Flannery. And, and I can expect that to be at the January 7th council meeting. I, Mr. Flannery, I don't have that call. Mr. Mayor, council members, and Mr. Jones, we will be putting that in January. I can't I don't know which meeting yet, but I, I definitely will get it on a general meeting. Our January 7th meeting is already being packed because we're skipping two weeks here. So uh, that one is going to be pretty full, but I, I think it's going to be the second or third, probably a study session. Okay. Thank you, sir. <coughs> okay. Um, it's actually the Commerce City Codes, Chapter 21. I just didn't print out on the computer. I'd like a copy. I did like this copy. I'll be glad to get it. No, that's right. If it's well, chapter 21, we've got it. Yeah, what you need is just, Mr. Jones, if you could give them numbered from one to whatever you have so that they will answer every one of those particular items. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be glad to get them to the box. I'll give that to them tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much.